Google Data Studio is a complimentary tool Google provides to businesses. It makes data sets easy to comprehend, share, and it even lets you design custom dashboards and reports. Today, we're sharing the most important techniques to master in Google Data Studio for your business. To see how a campaign is performing in a certain time frame, the best technique to use is adding date range filters. Start by selecting Add a Control, then click on Date Range Control. Then simply draw a shape on your report where you want the filter added. Once you've completed this step, you can go into the Data tab within the Date Range Properties panel. Use the default Date Range selection and go to the Style tab to change how the data appears on the report. There's a number of preset selections, or you can customize the date range however you want. And a quick tip here, add the date range filter to just the few elements you want, rather than the entire page. You can group the elements together that you want to apply the filter to. To do this, select all the charts that you want to group, right-click on the set, and then click Group or you can use the shortcut Control G to group. In Google Data Studio, you can add advanced reporting elements by using different formulas. This is also called calculated fields. To create a calculated field, start by editing your data source, then follow these steps. Click on the blue plus button at the top of the field column on your data source. Name the field. Enter the formula you want to use in that field. This process simply creates the field. To start using it, you must apply it to a row of data within a chart. Within a single report using Google Data Studio, you're able to see different data types through the use of pages. Multiple page reports can include overview pages, summary pages, and data from different data sources all on a single page. To add a page to your report, click the Page button at the top of the screen. It should be to the left of a range. Next, select New Page. This adds a page you must format. If you like the format of the page you're currently working on, just hit Duplicate Page. This allows you to keep the formatting the same throughout the pages. To rename a page, click here in the top left corner. Click on the page and click Rename. Then type the new name you want. You can also hide a page by clicking Hide Page in View Mode. And another helpful tip while we're here. If you want to edit a draft without people seeing it live, go to File, Publishing Settings then turn on manual publishing. This will allow you to edit to your heart's content without being live for others to see. When you're ready for others to see the changes, just click on the publish button. At the page level of Google Data Studio, you can specify data sources instead of having to do that individually per chart. This lets you apply filters across all your charts in that specific page, thus saving time and energy. Follow these steps to add a filter. Begin editing the report. Select the chart you want to filter. Click on the data tab in the top panel. Click Add a Filter. Add a name to the filter. Either select Include or Exclude. Select the dimension you want to filter. Choose the comparison operator. Enter a comparison value for the expression. And save it. This process should allow you to create filters on pages for certain data charts and sets. You can also add a data filter to a page. Right click and go to Current Page Settings. Select your data source. Then add your page filter. This will now include your filter on all charts on the page. Another tip for nicer and easier to read reports, add graphics. Using graphics in your reports can create a nice separation and adds a visual component. There are countless techniques to master in Google Data Studio. With so many capabilities, this tool is one of the most beneficial to a digital marketing campaign. At Logical Position, we use Google Data Studio in addition to our own dashboard reporting tools for all of our campaigns across our services. If you have any Google Ads lead generation needs, just contact us at logicalposition.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.